director testified that the company's blood analyzers never worked. That former director was hired at Theranos with the job of getting its blood testing lab back into federal compliance. But as he just testified, he faced a mountain of problems. Testimony in the federal fraud case against Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes focused Tuesday on the beginning of the end for the biotech startup. Dr. Kingshuk Das took the stand to detail a damning report by government regulators with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. The audit found that Theranos's Edison machine wasn't able to perform basic lab tests. Regulators also discovered errors in patient test results. He was communicating directly with Elizabeth Holmes about problems that were showing up in a report about the lab. Ellen Kreitzberg is a law professor at Santa Clara University and has been following the case. It shows clearly that she had knowledge that there were problems um, and that there were def uh, defective outcomes in the tests that were being made. Doss said Theranos only ran 12 tests on the Edison machines despite what Holmes allegedly told investors. But by the time he came on board, the company had completely abandoned using the analyzers. Doss said he went on to avoid all of the test results conducted on the machines when they were being used in Walgreens stores in 2014 and 2015. Court is back in session on Wednesday with more witnesses for the prosecution before we take a break for Veterans Day. At the federal courthouse in San Jose, Evan Cernofsky, KTVU, Fox 2 News. And just a reminder.